So you guys ended up going down into that tower face there. Helen? Helen, yeah. And um, when you got down there, the it was quiet, silent again. And as soon as you guys went to the door, things started crawling out of the uh, the middle kind of altar. It started coming at you. So you guys lift up the door. And as soon as you're in there, you kind of smack the, the handle that was pulling the, uh, the door up. And the gate fell. <laughs> um, from there, you guys continued down this hallway um, and eventually entered a room that contained a small altar upon a dais um, with several cultists. And the one kind of to the right of you, walking through a doorway, started to say some strange words. And that was kind of where we... Uh, where we left off. So we're legit starting uh, right into the action here. Um, so this guy is going to continue saying these words. Again, it's in some kind of strange language you've not heard before, nor do you recognize. Um, and at the end of it, in common, he says, um, rise, servant, to fight here. Come, aid her fellows. And then from the dais, okay, sorry comes this large shadowy creature um, with these great claws kind of protruding from its fingers um, that are the of, of the creature it's made kind of a black shadow but its claws themselves glow with kind of a faint white um, it lets out a screech as soon as it's it's born for lack of a better term and at that point we will Oh, what a great start. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alex, what did you get? I got nine. Okay, Xena? Ten. And five? Twenty-one. All right, Scott? Twenty. I lied to you, it's eleven. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. What game are we playing again? <laughs> <laughs> What type of size is this creature looking about? Like medium? Um, yeah, it would be considered medium. Yeah. Right. Um, it's a large medium. Like probably would be equivalent to like an eight foot tall person. But um, yeah, not uh, not a giant by <coughs> means. What's the so it's you know strength and capabilities that that it's a giant. Ah yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's the layout of this room? Is it like, how many people are in here? And... There was four, there was two on one side and two on the other. Okay, so the room is circular. Um, there is only one door um, and it is to your right. So kind of, uh, you guys headed west originally. So you kind of went down the west hall. You enter this room, it's circular, not nearly as big as the huge circle room that you were in before, but it's still probably like a 40 by 40 kind of diameter. Um, and there's a door on the right, which is open, which is where the guy who is chanting is coming through. There's another guy who is praying up at the altar, and there are two more off to the left. Um, so, yeah, the layout of the room, essentially, open door on the right, guy in said open door, one cultist and big shadow creature at the altar, and then two more cultists on the left. All right, Jordan, roll, roll me up initiative. Uh, 23. Is your, what's your dex? Um, it's 17. Okay, Jordan, you're up first. Eight foot tall, dark, shadowy monster. The only thing that glows brighter than kind of its black form is these claws jutting from its fingers. Um, they glow kind of bright white. Otherwise, mm -hmm. uh, very human looking, aside from the fact that it's, you know, kind of transparent. And... I'm upstairs, I believe, still. Yeah, oh, right. Let's see that. So, all right, I'm a little rusty after already just only two weeks. Um, okay. <laughs> But I'm, but I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, would you like to do anything at this point up there? Uh, depending on, I, I'm pretty sure whatever we're going to be doing between our talking and whatnot, Yeah. I, I think a few minutes will pass, so you can do a couple rounds of combat, I think. Cool. How are you guys in this room right now? I'm assuming both got clambered in the door. <laughs> well, <laughs> that sounds I, right. was, I was opening the door, so I'm going to 
take one of mm. the sides. So it doesn't matter to me. Do you want guy saying chanting words or two guys on the left? Guy chanting or words. Me. Guy chanting guy words. Chanting. Yeah. Right. That's usually why like, anytime there's someone chanting words like that, you gotta kill them first. That's yeah. Those I don't <laughs> like those people. They're they're bad. <laughs> Alright, so you'll be heading off to the right. Um Wherever else be. I'm gonna fight um, the demon, so I'll probably front and center there. I'll, I'll shut off to the left. Let's get two guys. Let's get two guys. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna um, <laughs> kind of go to the right, but stay a little bit distance. I'm gonna use my little Torian axis to start just to. The guy on the right chanting words um, ceases his chanting, draws one of those crooked blades you guys had seen earlier. See, I knew I was going after him for a reason. You mean maple? Maple, yeah, sorry. Um, and he will not hit you. You are too quick to get right out of the way. Yeah, see, because I saw this coming. Like, go for the out <laughs> of the I know, I know. I was ready um, for this. Alias, the two you've approached are willing to engage, so they are going to each draw crooked blades as well and come at you. Neither of them will strike you. Are these all like seniors? <laughs> Take off that hat. <laughs> at the um, at the altar, will approach you as well. There, I will not strike you either. Uh, the shadow creature will follow him. Nope, it can't. <laughs> so the shadow creature um, also tries to strike at you with every swing of its hand um, in place of where you know a normal person might be grunting swinging a sword it lets out a sharp kind of um, sharp pitched kind of whine almost that to an extent kind of hurts your ears um, more than a little bit I mean it doesn't have any effect on you but it's not a pleasant noise by any means up next, then, will be five. We shall attack the demon. Ten? Ten is not a good. So next, we will have Scott. So yeah, um, my plan was to uh, use my two hand axes and just throw those at the spell caster. So it's 22 and 17. Yep, those are both hits. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, do you need separate damage, or? Uh, yeah, well? please. Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. Um, so the first one's going to be nine, nice. and the second axe is going to be eight. Okay, so the uh, th uh, two axes strike strike this guy. One sticks directly into uh, his chest, so it's just like stuck there, and he's bleeding. The other one just took a chunk of his shoulder out. Um, he lets out a cry and kind of falls to a knee before slowly standing back up. Um, he's still alive, but uh, the guy is gushing blood, and blood does look, uh, you know, red and, and natural, so he's really, really a person of some kind of least. <laughs> All right. Um, he won't be chatting if he knows what's good for him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, Alias, what would you like to do? I, uh, I'm going to attack whichever one of the two guys is closest to me, and we'll see what happens. They're both engaged with you, so... A or B. One guy's got black hair, the other one's got like blonde hair. Which one do you want to hit? Oh. Uh... I don't know. Let's go for the one on the left. The leftmost black hair guy. Okay. <laughs> cool. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, so, nine. Ah, yes. A wonderful non-strike. Okay. Uh, called this so far reflecting the attacks. Cool. And that's a nat 20. Nice! First nat 20 of the night. Woo! Okay, so it's a hit um, and a crit. So you roll normal damage twice, or you roll the dice twice, and then add your bonus once. Cool. Six. Uh, you manage in the flurry of blows that are being exchanged by the two cultists and yourself. While managing to dodge their repeated attacks, um, you're able to catch the cultist on your left a couple times across the chest. Um, uh I'm gonna the one that was chanting yep. uh I'm going to attack that guy because he was still the one I was going towards in the beginning yep. so yeah he's uh injured but still alive yeah 
and I have my spear, but uh, it's not it's not versatile at the moment. So uh, twenty five to hit. Oh yeah. <laughs> so then nine damage. All right. Where do you hit this guy to kill him? Uh, I'm just gonna spear him right through the abdomen. Okay. So nice clean <clears throat> spear pops through the other side and uh, clean with draw as well. He just holds his, uh, tries to hold himself together and then turns Um, and then I, I will move, uh, I'll just walk past him like it's nothing and I'm gonna continue on to the black shadow thing and try and flank it from the other side because I know it, uh, Pythagoras was fighting it and I'm going towards him. So seeing your approach, um, towards trying to get around the shadow creature, the cultist that was kind of front and center is going to turn his attention towards you. Uh, attempt to attack you, and he's going to fail at it. So he starts exchanging blows with you. Um, you're agile enough, you're speaking to not to get so far. The two with you there on part alias, right? While one continues to, um, or you continue to evade, the other you're not. And he gets a very clean blow on you. So. Essentially, you're a little bit distracted trying to evade the other one. The other one's ending up being a little bit quicker. While you successfully evade him, the other one gets a little bit of an edge on you. And unfortunately, he hits you for nine points of damage. Duh! Some bitch. He hit my shoulder, didn't he? <laughs> he did. My shoulder. <laughs> my dirty shoulder. shoulder. <laughs> Just fix that. They, they can tell it's kind of like all the little lean to it. <laughs> the shadow creature that will try and attack you at any time. It will strike you. So the claws catch your one of your arms, and while it wouldn't normally be much of a wound to you, you've had far worse. Just a scratch. Um, <laughs> you, you start to feel kind of this, um, it's not, it doesn't feel like poison, it doesn't feel like burning, but it just feels like, um, a strange darkness creeping into your skin from where it, it clawed at you. I need a constitution save, please. Or you just chop off your arm. Or just chop off your arm. Get out of me! It's like walking dead, right? You get Natural hit. 20. Nice. Nice. Very, very good. So you... Takes but a flesh one. Two points of damage. Oh! 20. Whoa. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. Where's our wizard? Right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Somebody's calling back up the hallway. Yeah, thank you. I'd like to do. How'd you like to respond to that insult? Um, I would like to drink my booze. No. Um, let me think. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, it's been fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish Antimaeus was here. Well, I'm gonna use my second wind so I can heal. And I'm going to freak out, and you're gonna see a bunch of electricity flow off my body, and I'm gonna slam my sword into my shield again. And okay. that big boom's gonna happen. <clears throat> so everyone within 15 feet of me has to make a constitution save? Yeah. Including us, probably? Yep. If you're within 15 feet of me. Mabel definitely will be. Because I'm behind you, but I'm not sure. Oh, what's it? Yeah. A uh, constitution. 11. But, uh, Almagar and Alias, you'd be too far. Okay. Six. Whatever you did, I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> me either. <laughs> okay. So, and not prone, sorry, if, uh, if they fail? Uh, if you fail, you take full damage and you're pushed 10 feet away from me. And any okay, unsecured so, um, objects are pushed 10 feet as well. Uh, 9 damage. 9? Yeah. Oh, that's not too bad. And is it half damage on successful save? Yeah. Mr. Cultus, that it turns attention towards you, uh, Maple, he gets pushed 10 feet uh, back towards the altar. Um, and he also grasps his head in, in pain. As you see, so a little bit of blood kind of trickle from his eyes, clearly maybe a little internal brain damage there. Um, concussed. <laughs> concussed, yeah. A couple of these like little um, chalices that were on the, the altar also fly off, pouring out some kind of liquid onto the floor, and you can hear them roll around on the stone. 
Um, the creature does not seem to be pushed back. Um, however, as the boom kind of echoes out from you, you can see some of the wisps of its body kind of get blown back, almost as if there was a large gust of wind blowing smoke. Uh, still there, obviously. Okay, and I'd like it's to use... Like the inconvenienced it. I'd like to use an action surge and make one more attack. Okay, go for it. And that's everything. <laughs> so I'm using all my things. <laughs> all the things. Just right now. Now. Um, do I get an advantage? Yes, yes you do. <laughs> oh, I rolled the exact same thing. Uh, oh, so wonderful. <laughs> ten again. Almagar, what would you like to do? This uh, creature thing's giving me the creeps. How many guys are left on the left there? There's two on the left, engaged with Alias right now. And then there's the one that was pushed back from Alder that was fighting with people. And I guess Maple were you also pushed back? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I think I'm best to go after this creature. So I will uh, I will go into a rage and then uh, charge him. He's got over here now, I can fight. <clears throat> Okay, uh, 15 damage. Alright, so you make a mighty blow. It looks at you and just kind of lies. Um, that's how it kind of shriek as you knock away some of the um, kind of wisp flash that is upon it. The thing you'll notice though is the wound that you created it seems to have left a little bit of a gap. Some of the shadow fills back in, but there's definitely a, a difference. I'm gonna go for black hair again. Is he the son of bitch that went for my shoulder? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But he's like so he tried to paint. Well, how's a 19? Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm not just joking. I'm just, yeah, I know. <laughs> Perfect. And we'll hit him for eight. So while the blade is still fresh in your shoulder, you just go, well, it's already at me, no need for defense, and you just thrust, and you just catch him right in the side of the abdomen, Perfect. and you can see that it stretches your blade is through him, and you just uh, hold the side. He's still still standing, but uh, not looking good as he gushes blood. So it's a good thing I have it there. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Will 15 do? Oh, yeah. And four. Okay, man, you've already got a blade in his side. How do you want to finish him? We'll, we'll just give him like the slow, like through the through the bottom of the jaw as I stare into his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Soul catcher <laughs> style. Start the dirk into the bottom of his jaw. He's just. <laughs> and then I'll give him a little smirk. <laughs> and then you spin his body around so the incoming blow from his buddy hits his back. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, Mabel. How did you do it? Let's see. Okay, well, since I got pushed back, I'm by that cultist, so yeah. I'm just gonna turn and I'll face him and uh, I'll, I'll attack him. And he, he and he tried to attack me, so. And I rolled a one. A little disoriented from getting pushed back by the uh, <laughs> numbers way you there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Threw off the groove. An opportunity to get him right after you both get that knock back. You're both disoriented, so you just go for an instant stab. Unfortunately, he's also a little more lucid than you may think, and he manages to grab the spear and yank it from your hand, so you just kind of toss it on the ground beside him. I'm gonna uh, use a, my bonus action and I would go into my rage. All right. <laughs> Guy takes your spear, about to get angry. She's <laughs> 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 not real. I totally respect that. All right. This uh, is my spear. This <laughs> 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 is spear time. <laughs> uh, okay. Jordan, would you like to uh, take an action at this point? Um, obviously, what I told you happened has happened. Uh, well, it started to happen, so would you like to react that anyway? <laughs> Don't worry, he's just being stabbed to death. But... Um, I'll, I'll follow. So, um, so, you know, the guy kind of goes wide-eyed as you, like, just start, you know, <laughs> <laughs> doing whatever you do when you go into a rage. I imagine you probably, you know, look a lot more threatening. <laughs> so, yeah. Outright or something. <laughs> 
I think um, that the helmet helps too a lot. Because I got yeah. the ram horns. So at this point, you notice that um, he. The reason why he was able to grab your spear and pull it was because he also dropped his weapon when he was pushed away. So he's unarmed as well. Um, and this guy is going to make the decision to attempt to, to hit you in the face. Um, She's only a girl. <laughs> so he goes in for some unarmed hand-to-hand -hand combat. Potentially, you know, something that most people aren't willing Fuck to do yeah. against you. So he does, he does land a blow, but it's pretty insignificant for only two hit points of damage. Hmm. Uh, um, oh, do I cut that in half? Because I uh, am yeah, in rage. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, it's just bump slow ahead. It's that slow turn. Sweet. <laughs> um, all right. So that is that guy. Um, the one remaining with you, Helios. Good little bitch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll say kind of this, uh, frothy thing, not the word, right word. Got, you know, good. So he's really stupid. Right now, but kind of like through his teeth, he says, "You will regret this." That's good. That's what they're always saying before they die. And you heroically draw both your weapons from the corpse of his friend and uh, beat aside any oncoming foes for the time being. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Guess not today. All right. Um, the creature is still going to pursue you here, Pythagoras. It does it does strike again. I do unfortunately need another constitution save from you. So wait, um, it, it does hit though? It does hit, yeah. Um, then I'd like to do a reaction to that. Okay. Um, so I take one reaction, which uh, I take when hit by an attack or a magic missile. I get plus five to my AC till the next turn. Because did you roll like a 20 last time and still got... 27 damage. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So I don't know, like, I, I hold out my shield and this light kind of just comes out and creates this barrier around me. So I'm assuming that that would apply to this attack as well. Um, what is your total armor class with that bonus? 22. Even with your shield? Yep. Uh, it unfortunately batters your shield. Uh, one of its flawed hands still makes it through. Shit! Um, Right. This one's not quite as bad this time. Um, it, I, I still need a constitution save from you, um, but it, it deals 20 points of damage with the strike. Oh, my oh. God. Oh. Not as bad by two points. <laughs> <laughs> it's truthful. Uh, guys, I'm trying to spin optimism on a bad situation here, okay? <laughs> Dude, we're not like level like 20th level here. We don't exactly have a lot of hit points to spare. <laughs> So uh, uh, I rolled a natural eight, and I'm assuming you don't have a plus six constitution by a chance, do you? I do, because I'm proficient. So, you know. oh, do you really? Yep. Oh shit. Okay. Well, you save again. So really? <laughs> yeah, Sweet. You need, you need a fourteen to save. So. Oh. <laughs> um, okay. So you get constitution save. The damage still happens. The constitution has nothing to do with the damage, unfortunately. So you still take the twenty points, but. Um, Yes, you saved against. Not that anybody would know, but uh, I'm one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, my are breathing heavily, lots of blood. <laughs> so oh, that God. two points really helped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you can, maybe you might want to get the fuck out of there. I would like to, um, <laughs> a as I'm like being destroyed here, maybe my head whips back, and I'd like to see if that thing's coming up behind us. <laughs> the last moments your paranoia is setting no, in. No! What's happening? Kill me before it gets here. <laughs> there's only one thing behind you, you. There's just like 40 eyes. <laughs> uh, no, so far it hasn't made its way down the hall. Um, you, as you kind of look back, you still kind of hear like maybe a little bit of some moaning or something <laughs> um, coming from down the hall, but. Uh, but yeah, no, it is not directly behind you. <laughs> That's just him playing with Entomaeus. Grabbing, grabbing the claw of the creature. Kill me, dude! I just don't want to I can't come back! The thing's like, the fuck are you doing? Get off of me! Get off of me! You're gonna make me dirty! <laughs> <It's> weird! <laughs>
Um, okay, Pythagoras, it is your turn. What would you, uh, what would you like to do? Oh, I just went, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, no, because that was her reaction, so right. it's your whole turn. Um, cry, and... <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm right up by Pythagoras now, too, so feel free to fuck off. <laughs> Will it, get a, will it get an attack of opportunity if I do that? You can definitely disengage and not go. Okay, I'll disengage and <laughs> hide behind the biggest guy, which is Almagar, and uh, use a yeah. healer's kit. I said, I'll, I'll take two hits and then do the same as you. <laughs> Alright, so you throw your shield up at the thing's kind of clawing at you, you're able to hold it back before you can kind of get to a position where it's no longer directly focused on you, and you're able to quickly kind of put some salves and some of the cuts that are, um, you know, it's delivered to your face and your arm. Um, the soothing kind of cool of the salve definitely makes these things feel better, but there still feels something a little wrong about them, but they're just, it's not, you know, nearly as bad. The pain is at least dull. Uh, on the guard, what would you like to do? All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to attack this guy again. Um, this time when I swing though, I'm gonna actually turn my ax I'm going to aim right for its head. Okay. So instead of like slicing through, I'm going to get like broadside of the axe, like, like smacking him with the side, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Give that a try. 22 to hit. Yes, full damage. So 12, 17 damage. Carry the three. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's tough when it has four digits of hit points. <laughs> <laughs> Why? How many healers did you guys bring? <laughs> yeah, you make a, a solid blow against this thing, and your axe, while passing right through it, um, its its head essentially has to kind of wisp apart for a few moments. And as it reforms, it almost looks like if it were a person, you've taken out kind of part of its jaw. Um, and you can see kind of this skeletal. Uh, while it looks skeletal <clears throat> before it, now it almost looks like again somebody's cheek is going is gone so you can see like the fine teeth in there and like yeah it's you, you definitely did something that didn't make you happy now he's mad looks like i'll be taking some damage yeah, that's out. so that's out uh, a shriek after this happens yay elmogar and i'll 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 match his sorry i'll match his like shrieky because i'm in a rage so every time this thing shrieks i'm just gonna just roar right back at it yeah. oh. <laughs> um so you, what was also, that? <laughs> you also all notice that um, the <laughs> no. from down the hall um, has completely ceased at this point. It's not talking to you. Or... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Elias, what would you like to do? We're gonna use the example of the black haired guy and make work with the blonde guy. <laughs> you know what? If I was that one guy, I'd already cut off the blade. <laughs> no, I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> Can I join your team, guys? So sixteen. Uh, yes, I was there. Four, three. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then sixteen with my dirt. Okay, that's a hit. Four, four. All right, so while no direct blows were made on him, uh, you can clearly see him tiring a little bit. Uh, just keeping up with two weapons is making the guy look a little slower. And you do get a couple glances on him, so you know, uh, bruises and cuts and that sort of thing. Excellent, excellent. You'll also see his eye kind of flicker up to the, to the creature. Um, you're not sure if it's out of fear or whether it's like concern, but um, yeah, he definitely <coughs> looks up at it a few times. Getting a little distracted. All right, Mabel, what should I do? Um, got his hit you in the head. Yeah, well, I just took my spear. I just went into a rage, so I am going to just. I guess I could pull my other weapons on that, that I have on me, but I'm not. I'm just gonna fist fuck this guy into the pummel him right into the fucking altar. So I'm just gonna like, I, 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 I don't know, I, I, I kind of like want to do like like a grab and just like try and slam his head off the altar. That's what I want to do. So, because I can do an unarmed strike because of my tavern brawler feet, so. 
<laughs> sure. So, um, yeah, do one of those, and we'll see what's. Uh, Does 13 hit? Yes. Woo! <laughs> so for five damage. So you grab the guy's head and you just start going <laughs> into the altar. Um, after a few blows, you realize there's not much left to hit against the altar. <laughs> and uh, I guess the guy's just very good. <laughs> Um, and, and then with that, I, I will, I guess, drop the body and uh, pick up my spear. Remaining is the one called the Spiting Alias and this creature. Um, so the one going through the Alias will miss really the small progress you've made on him, as well as his being tired as half of He's just scared of me. And he's he saw what happened last time the last guy did. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is now turns full attention to you there, Almadar, and it scares you. And I'm just right back at it, right? Just <laughs> bring it on. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. Wait, that's not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what am I saying? <laughs> Who knew? That's your inner barbarian speaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just gotta make perfect sense at the moment. Later yeah. you reflect on it like, what was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> That I do not think very clearly when I'm in a rage. <laughs> um, okay, it uh, does strike you. So I do need a constitution save from you, please. Twenty. Oh yeah, that's definitely So it, it claws you kind of across the chest. Uh, its nails make it through your armor in a couple uh, small times. You just feel this burning sensation. Um, and you take twenty-one points of damage. Oh, wow. I know. Would that be reduced because of your age? Unfortunately, it is not reduced. Um, this is of a... Other... Kill it, kill it other, now. <laughs> Otherworldly type of damage, which is why its nails getting just slightly through your armor is doing this much damage, because it's not even the, the claw that hurt. It's whatever's burning inside of you now. Yeah. You got this. Of me. <laughs> <laughs> I touched you on the inside. Here for you, bro. <laughs> um, all right, I beg her to do. Continue crying. <laughs> um, I'll take an attack. <laughs> <laughs> like to use my whole turn to cry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I don't. I don't know. Um, who who are the closest guys to me right now? Uh, as far as allies are concerned, or enemies? Uh, enemies. Um, so there's just the one cultist left, kind of on both your left-hand side, who's currently fighting Alias, and then there's the big creature. Otherwise, they're not. That other guy's not chanting, is he? He's dead. <laughs> oh my god. And of course, too, I'm still making sure I'm between this creature and uh, Pythagoras. Right. <laughs> now I know I can feel his pain. Ooh. Oh my god, this is what's been happening to you? <laughs> Shit, man, I look like. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, I'm, about my oh, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna flank this shadow demon. Okay. Alright, you run around the other side. It is flanked, so go ahead and get the man. Oh, it's a good thing, because I rolled a 1 and then a 19. <laughs> Very good thing. Alright, well, the 19 is a hit. Mon damage. Aw, six damage. Oh, six, okay. <clears throat> kind of strike it through its back, and you can see now behind it that it's got this kind of strange uh, cloak or like cape on. It, again, it is shadowy and wispy as well, part of its being, but you kind of cut through that uh, that cloak. Also, you didn't really notice it from um, from in front of it, but from behind, you can actually see that this thing appears to be wearing what almost looks like. Not a crown, but almost like a, a wreath. So do you know, like, back in the day with Romans, how Caesar used to wear more of a wreath than a crown? It didn't come around his whole head. It kept yep. sat the back. That's sort of what this looks like on the back of this creature's head. It's like this silver band. Um, again, not actually metal. It's always be and shadowy, but uh, that's what it would be. Oh, happy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can reason with it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Shoot it um, 
What if I become one with the spirit and just like jump inside? <laughs> I love you. Amagar uh, becomes Amagar. a lich barbarian. <laughs> I think this time I'm gonna. So I just went like a side of his head. This time I'm just gonna come up, like say, almost like yeah, crotch to head, kind of like just. And I'm sure he doesn't have genitals, so he doesn't care. <laughs> Um, 22 to hit again. 15 damage. Man, those dice are good tonight. Unlike some people. Oh. Some people. <laughs> Alright, so Axe climbs up the thing's body. Um, and yeah, it again kind of splits up its center. Uh, the shadow reforms. Um, but yes, definitely. It almost looks like a shadowy sort of armor that it has on has now like splits and cracks in it. We're gonna keep going. 21 for 7. And then my dirt for 12. Uh, 12 is not sufficient, unfortunately, no. Okay. So you strike him well. And then when you go into the killing blow to the chin again, um, he does some strange thing where he just kind of moves his ships his body up and the tip of your dirt catches his armor instead of his throat. It just kind of bends up. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Um, normally he'll be happy with a success like that, but this guy is just, his eyes are moving more and more toward this creature, like, every few moments now. He's just, like, glancing over to that concentration. Wait, see if we <laughs> What? <laughs> Maple. Okay, well, uh, I got my spear, so... What, what, what am I looking at? So I know I got a couple dead bodies around me. Um, yes. where's, where's the shadowy thing versus the, the one guy that's still fighting... Alias. The shadowy thing is kind of almost in the center of the room at this point, engaged with, you can see obviously Pythagoras and uh, Almadar fighting it. Um, sort of diagonally across from the room from you would be Alias and the guy he's fighting. So Alias and his guy is definitely farther. You can still make it there in one move if you wanted to go assist him. But um, the shadowy creature is definitely closer and more, more prominent. Well, sorry Alias, you, you got this. Uh, I'm gonna run over to the the shadowy guy, I guess, and All right. I will try and attack him with my. You know what? No, I'm not gonna run all the way over. I'm gonna go directly okay. in between. I'm gonna keep a I don't know a twenty foot distance from him, and I'm gonna chuck my spear. Oh God, I'm gonna die. No, but that's why I said I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna so if I do miss, it will fly by, but not hit the two guys fighting. All right. So I rolled one, I won once. So the chance of doing it again and doing it again, <laughs> no. Very true. All chance. right, toss that spear. Does 15 hit? Yep. yep sure does. Sweet. For nine damage. Okay. Spear gets thrown into this thing. Um, it passes through its body, but as it goes through the body, um, its velocity definitely slows, so by the time it's through, it kind of just hits the ground and clatters and slides a little bit, ends up near your feet, Ilias, but not in a lethal way. <laughs> just missed his shoulder. It's <laughs> gonna take another strike with you there, Almagar. And it will connect, so I need a constitution save from you again, please. Oh god, no! <laughs> <laughs> If I fail, I can't save. <laughs> don't ask, just ask. Don't, don't yeah. fail, don't fail. Not an option. 15. Yeah, 15. Save. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you take the uh, most uh, optimistic level of damage. <laughs> um, then that's, uh, you take 17 points of damage as it claws up your arm and you burn a little bit more inside. Oh, yes. <laughs> Probably don't notice too much of the rage, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Just gonna feel it now, does it get over feel it? <laughs> and then Alias, you're a man. Still gonna try and fight you. I will strike you. God damn it. For seven points of damage. It's a shoulder, man. Yep. This hacks again, gets into another wound. How bad are you looking, Scott? Not as bad as you, but not much better. I <laughs> Alright, Pythagoras, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm gonna move around to uh, Elmagar and just kinda. I'm gonna use a healer's kit, so I'm gonna like 
rub his shoulders, kind of like a boxer kind of thing, and be like, yeah, you got this, buddy, you could do it. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'm probably going to get the fuck out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> You're, yeah, yeah, I, I can't heal myself again, so it's better if I heal you, right? Hey, uh, works for me. So you get eight back. All right. I still don't take another hit, but hey, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's well, not well, <laughs> depending. I, I, it's. I might go take another hit. At least there's a chance now. <laughs> awesome. All right, Almagar. What would you like to do? Stick Run away. With, stick with your right jab. You got this. <laughs> that's a thing. I keep going, but Jesus Christ, is he? Is he dead yet? Splash him water in his face. Ah! <laughs> uh, what the sweat um, from his brow? <laughs> we, uh, yeah, it's twenty-five-ish, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Six damage. That's it's getting up. wise in your ways of trying to split it apart. So and while you catch uh, a small piece of it, it started to kind of shadow step around, and not really literally shadow step, but it's starting to kind of sweep its body to get out of the way of your weapon and succeed. Um, cool. Well, I'm gonna try and finish this guy off before he does me. <laughs> um, while he's kind of looking, I'm gonna try and sidestep to either get his back facing to the thing so he's even more distracted, or just get behind him if he doesn't notice me move real quick, and I'm gonna attack. I don't know if that's gonna do anything, but I feel like <laughs> I want to do it anyways. Um, so 18 with my short sword. Or eight damage. Eight damage. Okay, yeah, how do you finish him? Hang on, let me see if I hit with my dark. I have an exciting plan. <laughs> Twenty-three. That'll be. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So while he's distracted, I'm just gonna go with both hands, like center mass, and just like tear apart screaming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, you go for the risky move. In a lot of situations, that would have gotten a sword planted in you, but you notice it's distracted, and you just go for something unexpected. It works. You plant both your weapons in, and you just tear out through his ribs with a big battle cry, and he, he topples to the ground. You can see he kind of bent back over his, where his spine would be. And then he... You're not going to be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then it just gets this huge sign. just like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my arm tries to fall off. <laughs> yeah. Come up with this guy. This guy tickles. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get you a new arm. Yeah. Full metal alias. Auto man. <laughs> Sounds like someone's having a really long pee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, guessing it's just the turtle tank. Yes, it's just the turtle tank. Yeah, I'm just peeing in the turtle tank. <laughs> This thing. Agris is behind Almagar right now, giving him some assistance. Uh, so he's slightly shielded. Keep up with those soldiers. <laughs> uh, you got this. He's tiring out. It's, so, <laughs> Shalane's still coming for you, Almagar. Um, it's clearly got the intent to do some. So, um, its claws stretch forth again. It looks like it's going for your face this time. And it will not succeed. There you go, um, float like a butterfly, you bum. Goes for the killing blow, and uh, you are quick enough to evade the claw. At the um, <laughs> <laughs> Is it making any horrible screeching noises? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. It's pretty pretty consistent with it. So it also must be getting pretty sick of my, you know, screeching back. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Probably like a horse. <laughs> uh, Alright, I think that's what you like to do. I'm going to flank it again. Okay. Natural 20! Nice. Uh -oh. 14 damage. Very nice. Ooh. Kitty agrees. <laughs> <laughs> Almanar, what you like to do? I'm, I'm feeling like, you know, I can see he's getting close, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna go for his head again, and same kind of thing, just break through the head. Fifteen? Uh, yes, that is it. Eleven damage. So now that we're on mute, Alex, god, what a fucking asshole. I'm so sick of that piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? 
both of them. You know what? Fuck them both. Every Alex. They should all die. Alright, now she's shucking on you. Hey guys, this is really a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we checking back? <laughs> Well, I'll try and get behind this thing and see what I can do. See how that goes. Eleven. Thanks for coming down. And that's even worse. Okay. So. All right. So. We're just the <laughs> few like you know the six second time that it takes you to walk over from the columns to this big shadow feature, your arms starting to stick up. You're just like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Maple for you. Where I I know he's surrounded pretty much, but uh, what 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 exactly are what am I what am I seeing? Like from so who, who's where? This large thing um, is looking damaged yet uh, still fierce. Um, there's definitely been some significant changes to it in the like, armor and kind of the fullness of its shadow, you could say. Um, so yeah, it's definitely hurt, but uh, still seems to be fighting with full force. Well, I, I yeah, guess <laughs> I guess I'll go up to the only other side that's available and try and hit him with. Uh, I'll. I'm not gonna go for my my spear. I'm gonna leave that and I'm gonna pull out my short sword as I advance. Does that give me advantage? Yeah. Sweet. Twenty-two to hit. Gotcha. Eleven damage. This thing for you again, Alvador. <laughs> Flow like a butterfly. Need a Constitution save for you, please. No. Just, just think of the booze we're, we made. You want to get out of here and taste that, don't you? <laughs> 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 I don't. Twenty. <laughs> oh. Right. oh. 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 Job. All right. So, you however do take twenty points of damage. Okay, I am unconscious. Uh, exactly. Right. Exactly unconscious. Okay. Uh, I guess what to do. I'm gonna go stabilize him with a healer kit. So he doesn't get he doesn't get healed again, but he he'll be stabilized with one HP. Because I'm a physician. <clears throat> and that's my turn. Alright, so you don't want him back. to get off there. Can I, yeah. can I move him? Probably not, he's probably like 300 pounds. <laughs> yeah, you can give me a strength check to try, sure. <laughs> Try to move me to one. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you can drag him back. That's a you save. Him oh, sorry, 18. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's still sufficient. Okay. So do you want to drag him towards the door, or where are you taking him? Yeah, to the door. Come on, big guy. <laughs> so you slowly kind of like open your eyes after the last thing you saw was some claws scratching your face, and uh, yeah, you're just slowly moving away. Um, through it. Okay. Um, Alvaro, what would you like to do? We're currently being drugged for the store. Um, I do have a healer's kit on on me. Now, I'm not really proficient or anything, but I can use that to... Or, no, that's more that, just to kind of stay... That's more for stabilizing, though, right? Yeah, so if, you're not, actually, if you don't have a decisions trait, you just stabilize it. Yeah. Right, I'm not actually getting... Right. So, in that case, no, I'll, um... Yeah, I don't think there's much... I, I maybe prop myself up against the wall or something. <laughs> just try to... <laughs> go, guys, go! <laughs> oh, I still want a good few. <laughs> Oh, hold on, I have my, my throwing or my hand axes that, that are over in that other guy. <laughs> you can go and retrieve them if you wish. Actually, we'll do that. Okay. Yeah. So you run over and grab the hand axes. You're welcome. Thank you. Wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, hey, hey, Pythagoras, you dragon him for that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, you pick up your, pick up your axes. Yes. I'm gonna back off, and I'm gonna get like as far as I can in the room. He's kind of in the center. I'll, I'll go to a whatever backwards towards a wall. He's gonna <laughs> bravely run away, <laughs> and, uh, and and I'm gonna try and do something with my bow. 
that's now been done to this thing um can I, I i don't know would it be like an insight or or something to see if there looks like to be more of a specific weakness if i was to actually try and figure out by melee attacks where it would do more damage problem is that this thing doesn't seem to have too many vital pieces to it right it, it, it does seem to kind of fill in um i mean there are a couple of good things that scott did uh sorry algar did like he hit his head, and that seemed pretty effective and stuff too. So yeah, I mean, you could you could try and replicate those for sure. Okay, well then I'm I'm gonna try and go for the neck. I'm gonna try and cleave the head sure. off. Okay. That usually kills things. Natural twenty. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. It is very oh. effective. Wow. So nine damage. Oh, that's the crit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're like ah, you cleave through its neck and sure enough it separates but then the shadow just kind of builds it back in it just looks you close yeah that's I'm not gonna move I'm just gonna stay right there I assume that um, I when I went on contest I don't have my weapon with me like my great axe I'm guessing probably, probably to grab that too right? yeah it was in my teeth uh, no, that, would, that would still be lying on the this thing turns to jump one you. Huh. I need a constitution no, save, please. 20. Oh, that's good. That's a good one. Nice. Nice. Alright. So you take 18 points of damage, but no other effects. And the claws across your chest. Oh, that's not bad. There you go. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna go up to this thing. Side so it gets flanking. Yeah, I'm gonna flank it. Okay. And I'm going to use an ability I have called Tides of Chaos. So okay. I'll tell you what happens once I roll. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So nice. um I don't know how to describe how this looks, but basically what happens is I get resistance to all damage for the next minute. Alright, uh Almagar. Oh, right. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, so I, obviously, this whole time I've been concentrating so I can try to throw these things at the <laughs> um, I should have. I should be fairly open, though, considering this unit was kind of more behind. I'm right if I'm throwing axes at yeah. this guy. Yeah. I think. Yeah, you're not. You're not. Yeah, you've got an angle where you're not at risk of getting behind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'll throw both of those axes at him. Twenty and twenty-one to get. Yeah. Hold it. Ah, double sixes for damage. <laughs> nice. All right, so it's going to be 11 and 11. 22 total. Nice. That's pretty <laughs> good. Oh, that's better than I was doing my great axe. <laughs> His two regular attacks did more than my crit. <laughs> How do I tell them they're not actually damaging this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, Elias, what would you like to do? Uh, well, let's let's see if I have any energy in my arms anymore. Again, with my short bow. Alright. And uh, I'm assuming I'm at an angle as well where... Probably not gonna. Yeah, yeah, it should be fine. I mean, the things can happen, but. Uh, 15? 15? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Six? Maple. Where did that arrow just hit it? It cascaded right through its chest and then passed through their side. 
Oh, it went right through? Well, I'm, I'm gonna attack. I'll just try and thrust the my short sword right through that area and make a bigger gash in it. Natural 20. Yeah. Very nice. Uh -huh. Nice. Now he's gonna roll some decent damage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 12 damage. Can I... You, I, I don't know if it's a bonus action or whatever, but I don't want to pull the blade out, but I'm not letting go of my short sword. I just want to keep it in him. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you, you strike this thing, and its white eyes kind of glow a deeper white. You're holding the sword in it. And it lets out a shriek that is much louder and longer than it has been previously. And it kind of echoes up. Um, almost if it, if it were shouting the sky, oddly enough. And is this room tall like the last one? No, it's not. Okay. It does have like an actual ceiling, but it, it's okay. acting as if there is no ceiling above it. Okay. And it just kind of cries out, and as its eyes kind of pulse white, um, you will notice um, all four of the cultists' eyes also pulse white. Uh, oh shit! And, and with that, this, this big shadowy creature kind of folds in on itself and just goes, and he is no longer standing in front of you. Yay! However. <laughs> Rising out of the four bodies are what appear to be spirits. They look very, very much like the large thing we're just fighting, but they are about normal human size as opposed to um, large, large, large. Uh -huh. And they shriek and, and disappear. <laughs> <laughs> they move in. Um, unfortunately, Elias, because you're still left inside, the two. <laughs> the two near you are gonna go for you. I shouldn't have been so rude. <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna do other than run? Oh, I can't run a barbarian, but if I don't, I'm... <laughs> if you feel any better, I only have two hit points. So. <laughs> <laughs> do we have like ten hit points to with between all of us? No. <laughs> yes. I got eleven. <laughs> Oh, 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 you are screwed. See, this level was planned. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this shriek kind of makes you aware as you hear two shrieks come from behind you with the two guys you killed, and you're able to turn around right as a, a claw comes almost directly for what would have been the back of your neck. <laughs> And yeah, you're able to get quickly out of the way, but you're caught so far that the other one does catch you. Um, I need a constitution saving throw from you, please. So, don't want to do it. But, so just scratch the back of it, right? Just can't see. Here. Yeah, yeah, so constitution. Don't become. So, sorry. Um, yeah, plus two. Yeah. Don't become a real ghost alias. <laughs> 13. That is sufficient. Did <laughs> anyone feel that? <laughs> I didn't think that was good. I didn't think so either. However, he still does damage you. Um, what? What? Eight points of damage. Well, that's me times four. Right. <laughs> you, go, you go unconscious. Right. The one that was in the center of the room, the cultist who um, Maple had bashed the head in of. Um, Moves towards Maple, no surprise. <laughs> You'll notice that they maintain their wounds um, in death as they did in life, even though they're just spirits. The corpse, to be clear, the corpse are still on the ground. These spirits have crawled out of them. Um, but this thing's face is like all mangled, it's all caved in, it has no <laughs> real face. When they were fighting, the only thing holding it up was a spine kind of thing inside his body, all ripped apart. Yeah, these guys don't look too healthy. Um, <laughs> 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 Alright, it claws, it claws for you and does not uh, automatically do anything to you. The one by the door uh, that was chanting, the one closest to Almagar, will go for Almagar. Uh, so you take 10 points of damage. I need a constitution saving throw, please. Ooh, minus 9, not bad. <laughs> 
Hey, at least it's not 3.5. You'd be dead in a hit point, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, 10. Your internal body, you can feel fighting this uh, this burning sensation. Very similar, but to a lesser degree than uh, the big guy. And you can just feel your body you barely held on with that, okay? So just emphasize, really barely. Don't roll below a 10. Barely, okay? <laughs> All right, Pythagoras, what would you like to do? I'm gonna use my last healer kit to go revive Alias to one hit point. All right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> no problem. Um, so you get in there, there's two like spirits almost looking at what they're gonna have. The body is run in there and oh, jumps oh, oh. Into, like. <laughs> 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 And then kind of open your eyes to see Pythagoras, the healer Pythagoras standing above you. You're like, maybe the battle's over. Then you see this face looking at you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and the window behind him is actually just the eyes. <laughs> Are you an angel? <laughs> no. You wish. <laughs> this is a good so small. <laughs> good thing I stocked up on those hero kits or found them or whatever. I also rubbed more dirt in your shoulder. <laughs> uh, it worked last time. Thank you. I lost a lip in, in the battle there. <laughs> yeah, the mud started to turn on mud. <laughs> I got a. <laughs> I'm like oozing down my chest. <laughs> Almagar, please roll a death save. Uh, the way this works again, 11 plus is a success. Um, 10 or lower is a failure. Um, one, like a critical failure, is two fails, and a 20 is two successes. And it's first of three is what you what right. fade. 16! There you go. Alright, so you have one success, so we'll make sure you mark that down. Ilias, you are awake with one hit point. What would you like to do? Where is everybody right now? So, so my fingers is right beside you. Right. Hello! Um, hey! Tomagar <laughs> is directly across the room at the right hand side door, um, unconscious, with the thing Perfect. standing over him. And um, Maple is kind of the center of the room, fighting a thing that uh, is distracting It has no face. Oh, bone. That has no face. <laughs> Excellent. I don't even know what to do right now. Um, not that there was any time to look, but when like we were slaying the guy that came out of the door in the next room that we haven't been in, were we able to see him there at all? It appeared to be a hallway of some kind, so past that, oh. you can't. More hallways. <laughs> Good. Time to drink. Hey, I was hoping it was like just like a nice room with like uh, all of your healing needs here. No, that was through the that was through the north and the east doors. You get those the west. <laughs> right. <laughs> Can I ask kind of a semi out of game question here? There's Scott's unconscious on the ground, and there's a thing standing over him. Is it gonna like try and tear him apart? Do things? Is that like a Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Alex is so innocent. <laughs> Does it look like Alex? Just really hoping. Okay. Is he gonna remove the shreds? I never played D&D with you. That's what we need. We need that naive. <laughs> <laughs> It used to let's, be strong before it, we corrupted him. Let's put it this way, it either looks really intent on cuddling with him, or <laughs> being inside of him in a non-sexual way. <laughs> non-sexual, I mean... <laughs> that's gonna work instead. I'm just gonna try and hack the half guy apart that already just killed me. Okay, go for Mr. it. Mr. Black Hair. Mr. Black Hair. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, net 20. Yeah! Oh, okay, so is it. Yeah. <laughs> that is definitely yeah. So we'll hit him for nine. Now, am I still, like, capable of using my second weapon? Yep. I'm pretty 
The battered <laughs> room is flat. Adrenaline's flowing. You're seeing one of your newfound friends across the hall getting beaten the crap out of. And, you know, yeah, you got motivation to, to throw out our sword. <laughs> Perfect. <You're in> <laughs> 16? Yeah, that's it. For five. You got this, ghost face. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't wait for something to happen. <laughs> so curious. <laughs> it, it haunts me in my sleep. <laughs> um. So there's just the one guy there now. But... One occupied with you. There's one over the uh, unconscious body of. Um, Almagar, and there are two engaged with Alias and Pythagoras. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I guess, just swing my short. Uh, oh, actually, a good question is how, how long now do you, th uh, roughly, have we been in combat for? I know it's been a few turns now, so would we be close to a minute? Yeah. Yeah, is that good or bad for you? Uh, that means I'll have to use a bonus action then uh, to go back into another rage. I don't think it's been a minute since you raged. You didn't rage at the very beginning of the battle. I would say no. you've got like two more turns. Two more turns? Okay. Okay. Then, then, well, I won't do that because I'm already enraged. I am just going to try and uh, swing at the guy that I pummeled his face in. Awesome. Pummel his face in again. <laughs> I thought I did this to you like a minute ago! <laughs> 21 to hit? Oh, yeah. For 12 damage. Very nice. So you strike this thing and it kind of takes a couple steps backwards. While your sword um, passes through it like it did with the large creature, um, and sorry, you will have noticed this as well, you felt something a little more physical in this one when you hit it. Your, your sword still goes through, but it like feels like it catches on things and kind of rips and tears through them, versus the big guy that was just kind of like, here's right here. Yeah, so it, it feels nice. It's nice. I'm trying to come to the um, okay. Good. So, from down the hall, um, the entryway that you guys had to come from, you hear a woman screaming at the top of her lungs. Hi, Helen. Um, <laughs> it sounds more like um, not a screaming in pain, but like a screaming in rage. Uh, and it's coming towards you guys. Excellent. <laughs> right now, I'll take. So you hear this, <laughs> and running on through into the room is Helen, uh, long sword brandish, and she charges, takes a quick survey of the room, and charges towards Elmer and stabs him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's how it's going. what would you like to do? Yeah, I'll, just, I'll run in. Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay, I'll run in and I'll just engage again the one over Almagar. Okay. Um, 22. That was it. Um, 22 damage. Wow. Wow. Where were you exactly 50 seconds ago? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you strike this thing again, same feeling. It's it's a little weird to you because you weren't fighting a large creature, but your weapon kind of passes through it like mist, although you feel it, it connect with a few inner, what would feel like tendons or something, as they strip and cut uh, while you pull through, but your blade does pass directly through it. Um, it focuses the tension to you and Helen, and no longer at uh, at Okay, I'll use my bonus action. To disengage okay. then. Alright. All right. It claws, the one that's, that was over top of Almagar, claws at Helen. It does strike her. Oh, well. So much for Helen. <laughs> it claws at Helen. She lets out a, a kind of a, a scream, not, not like a, ah, but like a, ah, kind of thing. 
um, as some blood tears away from her shoulder, um, but she holds steady with her longsword. Um, from the hall, um, you hear another voice that seems to be kind of trailing behind. Like, no! <laughs> oh yeah! Shut down! And uh, Jonathan comes charging into the room as well, um, a little slower than uh, than Helen. And we're all gonna die. It. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he looks around the room too, and kind of surveys it. And goes, oh no! And then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> he runs towards Maple to, uh, <laughs> to fight that creature. Classic. The two on you, Alex. No. Let's see if one decides to <laughs> Anticipating their potential attacks. I'm just gonna collapse to the ground and hope I confuse them. <laughs> <laughs> just pretend you're sleeping. <laughs> they both go for you, Alias. Fortunately, they both strike. Better sprinkle some more magic healing. <laughs> oh. I need two constitution saves from you, please. How far can you go the negatives? I think it's ten. Wait. Uh, it's with five now. You insta die if they do damage equal to your max health, I believe. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh wow. Well, let's we'll see how. Sorry. So go. like, if you go into the negatives toward to your max health, I believe it's considered death. Yeah. Um, wow, you can get really fucking angled without dying. You <laughs> can. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, my. I might hurt your chest a little bit. Okay. Yeah. 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 And less than that. And less than that. <laughs> Six and seven. Oh, <laughs> so I'm toast. <laughs> Freaking brain for you from this one. So you need to do less than 19 points of damage to me. Less than that, and I still have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Both of these guys are less than half as powerful. How much? How much? Point. How many hit points do you have total? Like, what's your maximum? My max hit points is 18. I'm at one hit point right now. Oh! Is this your first, oh, first time oh, playing, oh, Alex? No, I'm second. <laughs> no, I'm just curious, because oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, he played at the... Oh my god, yeah, this is not the experience you have in your first run through. Okay, um, so... Um, yeah, they do 22 points of damage. Um, and... I was gonna look up the the negative hit points rule just to be sure, but because you failed most of the con saves, your maximum hit points are reduced by that number. No. <laughs> so you cannot have hit points greater than zero. <laughs> <laughs> so he just but like disappears. So, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Alias, but for now this is where your adventure ends. Uh, yeah, you, you die. <laughs> Um, oh my wow, I'm really sorry. I hate, I hate taking out new players. I mean, I hate taking out any players, but that's oh, really, really good. bad. That was a way to go, for sure. Just <laughs> one, <laughs> one blade goes through one side, and the other guy stabs him from behind. They didn't have a chance. Just, so this eh. is like some heroic moment, like, uh, what's the guy? Uh, Lord of the Rings, you know, is it back in the Hobbit in the forest? Fair 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 Boromir, uh, yeah. all the arrows. Ah, the pretty much, yeah. You fought valiantly. Yeah. I tried. I tried. Uh, <laughs> you know, Pi kissed your forehead. Said you were <laughs> 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 and then you Wait, as, as it's happening, he's just like. Shh, okay. Put two gold coins on his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he's not even dead yet, and two gold coins are coming out. <laughs> you truly are a ghost now. <laughs> So, um, interesting things will happen to you in a moment, so we'll get there. Oh, Alright, uh, <laughs> the one on Maple. It's almost worse. Um, it misses. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, damn sorry right it Maple, does. I'm sorry for you, the last two hit. Just for a moment. 
It's like, he's an abyss in it's, not, it's kind of an insult that, uh, you know, you get two hits and get nuked. I was so confused. I was like, it missed, and that's worse? What are you no, about to no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> For you, it kind of adds a little salt to the wound. Um, but hey, think of it this way. Now you've revealed what the failing constitution save thing does. So, I mean, hey, Don't that's a do it, right? nice. <laughs> <laughs> Learn from me. <laughs> All right. Quite digress. So what would you like to do? I would like to revive Alias somehow with my magical <laughs> abilities. I'll call to a god or some shit. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're using your magical spent. Oh. Any, uh, any particular god? <laughs> Can I really try this? <laughs> sure. Why not? Uh, well, my god is Rink. So I guess I can pray to the god of luck. Maybe reverse time? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> before we ever went down the well. <laughs> or before I closed the door prematurely. I thought it made it. I'll like do it. made a big difference. I'll pray and say something like I will be your eternal sworn servant if you can help us here and. Whatever you desire from me will be yours. Take my life if you want. <laughs> and that's it. Anything else you'd like to do? Um, is... Uh, there are the two, two specter-like creatures in front of you. Um, and there's one fighting Mabel and then one fighting Helen. Or, sorry, one fighting Mabel and Jonathan. And Almagar is unconscious still? Yes. I'm gonna go over to him. Woo! Woo! And uh, stabilize. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you have any healers kits left? No. So he's just going to be at zero. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, and I have told you too. I have two healers kits on, or two uh, healers kit with two uses on in my bag. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fuck. We'll just move on. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you grab one of the healer kits. You pull some salve out of it, and you just start throwing on his face. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Back into life. Almagar. And you open to see raggedy clothes, uh, Helen with a long sword fighting this specter like creature with a large scratch across <clears throat> her arm. Okay, I'm gonna. Can I try to, like, just. Like, when, I, when they get an attack opportunity, if I crawl, like, from. <laughs> I crawl through them. <laughs> you can use a disengage if you want to get away from them. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to get over to my great axe, but. Okay. Alright, let's slowly make your way over to your Okay. Can't, can't, can't leave Helen to fight these guys by herself. Pies <laughs> like save me twice now and every couple of times I'm saying, <laughs> just get right up in the sun. <laughs> so Helen uh, slashes the specter <clears throat> and cries out uh, in anger as she successfully hits it and cuts it. Uh, it does not fall, however. Jonathan with his wood axe takes a fairly clumsy swing at the specter by you, Maple, and misses really badly. Would, would he not get advantage because he's it's being flanked? Yeah, he's definitely got advantage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> um, it's worth a shot. Yeah, triple advantage. <laughs> Alright, um, so. It, for a moment, you feel burning, and then it just kind of disappears in a wash of, of white. And before you know it, you open your eyes, and you're in this dark, gray tone. Is my shoulder still torn open? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're scarred, but it is not. Interesting. Okay. Shoulder, goddamn. There are a <laughs> large crowd of people around you, also seemingly with various wounds. You'll notice that you're still clothed the exact same armor that you were wearing. Obviously. So they're all like gathered around me. No, they don't even seem to notice you. They're just kind of standing there, all looking dumbfounded, just like you are. There's probably like a thousand of them. Oh. And some of them are wearing like heavy plate armor, some of them are in like just. Some of them look kind of like skeevy and sketchy, and they're wearing like, weird robes and stuff. Whole ball walks of life. Oh yeah. 
and uh, there's all these people are trying. And uh, the crowd starts to move, and you're just like kind of forced with it. Whether or not you want to go, people are kind of shoving you. You know, there's no way you can move this crowd. You're just shoved on. And as you're moving forward for like a minute or so, you then kind of see ahead this guy in this full plate armor with this kind of glow turn. The only thing in place is with white and it makes white light. He's standing upon this giant pillar and he's like yelling in some strange language down at the director that are walking in this big crowd. And he's like pointing in direction forward. He seems to be like egging them on but the language. Like aggressively or just like <sighs> not I would assertively say but very assertively. Okay. Yeah. Definitely not friendly. But not like I'm gonna kill you if you don't. Okay. Who knows? <laughs> no, they say, could be literally saying I'm gonna kill you if you don't. You don't <laughs> um, however, as you're walking, you find yourself a little slower, and you kind of get sluggish. You don't understand why you can't move your legs. You know those bad dreams you're trying to run, you only run in spot, or you run really slow even while you're trying really hard. That's what that's what you're experiencing. So. You start to kind of get pulled through the crowd, and your body starts passing as if you're a you're a forward, uh, backwards. Okay. In fact, you're moving so slowly now, and you're starting to progress backwards with every forward step you take. And you start to get to the back of this group of people until the most distant person is kind of out in front of you. And something inside tells you to turn around and look at whatever's pulling you back. And you see that big wraith-like creature that you that you guys were fighting. And it's actually got a cord in its hands that is connected to you. And that's what's pulling you back. It is pulling on it. It is pulling on it. What? Does it look does it look the same as it did before? It looks far more material in this area. So while it's still white and kind of uh, spectral, it's less it risky. looks like it's actually got our real armor on, it's got clothes, and while it doesn't have flesh, it's more of a ghost underneath, it's wearing physical items. And is it still wrecked like the other one was, or is it back to full form now? It's better shape than okay. it was previously. So it's half white. <laughs> yeah, but it's not as nice a condition. Okay. You will have one big differentiating thing, is that it no longer has claws. It looks like it has human hands, and it's got a sword at its hip, which you never noticed previously. Okay. Do I have any of my gear? Uh, or... Yeah, yeah, you've got everything. Got everything. Yep, everything you died with. Okay. That's nothing. That's neat. All right. Sorry for the, uh, the aside there. Okay. Maple, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm gonna continue attacking the guy that John and I are flanking right now. Go for it. It's nine hit. <laughs> and let's <that's a> miss. <laughs> With advantage. All right. Okay. Uh, that's me. Yes. You're up. Um, I'll move in behind the one Helen's attacking, and then I'll try to shank it. All right. You do have advantage, and because of that. It's um, just 15 hit? Yes. Sweet. Oh, and uh, I, I just want to point out that last round was the last round of my uh, my rage, so that, that finished. Um, that's 17 damage with my short sword. That destroys it. Any particular way you'd like to go up? Um, just swiping through. Alright, so you swipe through, and it lets out a shriek, and just kind of originally collapsed to the ground as if it was physical, and then just kind of fades away almost like ash. Yeah. What's the rest of the room like? How many are left? There's three. Okay. And two on Pythagoras right now, and standing above Alias, and then um, one with Maple and John. Sorry, actually, the two are no longer on Pythagoras because he ran over to help out there. That's my bad. So the two were just kind of standing on the top of uh, Alias right now. Freaky. Um... I'll use my bonus action to dash okay. over behind Jonathan and, and just 
stay there. Stab. Stab the crap. Yeah, kill Jonathan. <laughs> kill Jonathan. All right. <laughs> of the two specters, one continues to stand over Alias, puts its arms out, and just starts shrieking. The other starts a slow run and starts sprinting towards uh, you, my thinker. But it will miss. You're agile enough to kind of roll out of the way as it dives for you with both its hands. Um, uh, Pythagoras, what would you like to do? Okay, so when I dodge out of the way, I'm going to uh, draw my blade to attack it. However, when I do, it glows white, like that hammer did in the, back in the forest. And that is my turn. <clears throat> Alright, how much would you like to do? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> got, got your weapon. Right. Um, I'm going to have to go into a frenzied rage. Yeah! Because my rage would have worn off by now, too. Um, those hand axes fire right yeah. there. Well, they should be pretty close. They're pretty close. They're really nice range, yeah. But I would be able to pick those up and do... Yeah, sure, you can take a move action, pick them up, and not attack with them. No problem. Because what I'd like to do... Oh... You can break up your move too, I, Scott. Yeah, I just really don't want to want any to attract any attention because <laughs> <laughs> I'm still I am at one hit it's my second time at one hit point and still attacking, so <laughs> um I'm going to throw the two hand axes at the one above um alias. Okay. And then we'll see what happens after that, I guess. <laughs> So 20 and 22, the first axe does 10 damage, okay. the second one does 6. Alright, you plant both the axes into the creature, um, and it goes down. Uh, this was the one that had already been earlier injured by Alias, so... Uh, oh. yes. Okay. It collapses to the ground, and it kind of uh, dissolves into ash as well. Okay. Now, with my frenzy, with that extra melee attack for the bonus action, can I get to the one by Maple? Yep. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's do that then. I have I have looked death square in the eye twice in a minute <laughs> in less than 60 seconds. <laughs> 22 again. Man, these dice rolls. Right, that's right. right. 11 damage. All right, you got a solid blow on it. Maple, you see Almagar kind of come from the side and take a strike at this thing. Uh, Helen will take an attack. So Helen um, is actually going to dart over across the room to where the one was shrieking above um, Alias. She's going to run over to him, and she's going to just kind of stand there with two hands on her longsword. And she's like looking for something, looking around at the walls. Jonathan will take a swipe at uh, the one that still misses terribly. It pulls you in closer. <laughs> for a moment. Whispering sweet nothing. <laughs> <laughs> for a moment, you see what looks like a soldier shorter than this creature walk up to him. It also has a ghostly face. Um, and it looks to you. It gives kind of a snarl, and you'll notice that it still has room as it's in its cage from some point. Busted it looked out. a little familiar. Yeah, it looks like the guy with the black hair, but kind of like <laughs> wearing physical armor, um, no longer shoulder or anything else. Oops. And he walks up, <laughs> and he actually talks to this uh, this large creature. They speak in some kind of language, which is very guttural, very angry, and hate-filled. And they talk to each other, and out of nowhere, two axes land in this thing's chest, and he goes, ah! and he falls to the ground, and then just like, the large guy kind of goes, he's alive? Oh. And he keeps reeling in, um, you on his, on this chain, that type thing, and he speaks to you in kind of a broken Okay. How far away am I roughly? Like, 
Um, probably only like, you know, 10 or so feet now. It's going pretty slow, but it's more so your mind making it probably feel slow than I still can not really like walk or You're really anything. helpless. You're essentially like, paralyzed. Okay. okay. I'm just yeah. I'm along for the ride. You're along for the ride, unfortunately. Yeah. 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 All right, Maple. Uh, well, I'm gonna use my bonus action to go back into a rage, and I am going to swing my short sword up at this guy that, um, I've been fighting now for a bit, <laughs> and try and finally kill him. 24 to hit? Oh, yeah. Alright. For 11 damage. How do you... Uh, well, you know, since this guy doesn't already have a face, I, I, as I, I swing up my short sword, I just want to use, like, the pommel end of it and just kind of finish it off with a twack on the top. Alright. Just, like, right yeah, where just... the spine and, like, would be, you know? Just to kind of, like, finish crippling the creature. Alright, yeah, it falls backwards, his neck kind of bends back unnaturally, it touches it, the creature's back, and then it just collapses in on itself, and fades to ashes as well. Uh, are there any more alive in the room? There is one, and it is the one that's trying to currently murder my Pythagoras. And I am gonna run over to that guy. And to me, I seems like you do. If, if we all notice that uh, Matlin is looking for something, I'm gonna call out to Helen, what what are you looking for? They're, they're right here, I'm gonna point at the one by Pythagoras. She's going to call back. Um, the other one's still here, and she's going to kind of look panicked for a moment, and is yellow to all of you. How much do you care about this one? And she points to Alias. Oh, that's awkward. Um, I'll run to the Pythagoras one, and then I'll, I'll swing. Okay. Um, so 19 to hit. Okay, that'll definitely hit. Um, for 13 damage. Is it still up? Yeah. I'll take my bonus action to uh, attack with my dagger. Okay. Um, and that's another hit for six additional damage. Nice. All right, it goes down. Oh, good. So a uh, hearty slack through the chest, and it collapses to the ground again, fading to ashes. Um, we're taking out of initiative order, but Helen's going to do something, and then you guys are going to have to make a choice as to what you want to do, and then she'll do something, and, and so on and so forth. So there's still a timed order to events here. Um, so she's going to yell at you guys, I asked, how important is he to you? And they point at Alias. You might want to cover your ears for this, just in case they all want to insult you. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's... <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's totally important, but I mean, uh, well, sorry, I gave my character... Save him! She yells, would you give your life? No. Oh. I would. I can't see another one of my friends die or anyone else die. She just goes, ah! And she runs over to him, and um, she takes the longsword, and she cuts her arm. And the blood sprays on Alias's face. And she puts her finger on the blood and starts drawing symbols on his forehead. What the fuck are you doing? Like she just <laughs> like she didn't cut her arm off. No, she didn't cut her arm off. She just drew, drew the blade along her arm. Oh, oh, like a supernatural one. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna run over there and be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> she says, if you want to live, you have to trust me. And she just continues at her work. I don't want to take any actions to stop her. <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, <I'll> watch. <laughs> sort of like Beth 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obviously going to kind of go closer to see what's happening, but again, I... Um, no. Well, would my blood know, help? So. No, just watch for the other thing. If it tries to interrupt me, you need to stop it. I'm going to run over and grab my spear. So I'm still in rage, so I'm still, like, frothing at the mouth, I'm still, like, bloodlust shit, so, yeah, I'm gonna go run over and grab my spear while you guys are chit-chatting. Alright. And can I go close the door to this room? Oh yeah, definitely. I'll close the door and I'll go grab my, um, hand axes. <laughs> Yo, oh, wait, where are yeah, the dogs? 
What's that? Where are the dogs? Yet. Specifically two dog yelps. Answer the question, Helen. Where's Jojo? Or <laughs> Jaunting. Don't don't fuck her. Yeah. Fuck Jaunting. She seems to now kind of ignore you guys. Um and she's starting to recite something that is in common. I'm gonna go over and thank um Pythagoras for saving me twice in like <laughs> under two minutes. You're welcome. And uh next time we're in town I'm buying you some healers kits because <laughs> I owe you. Peter's kits and some ale. <laughs> no problem. Sort of. Okay, so you all kind of close in <laughs> close to Helen, I'm assuming. Like, you're all kind of within a couple of feet of her. Antimaeus is there. Pythagoras is there. I'm staying out of her door. way. Yeah, but yeah, I just don't want to be in her way, but I'm gonna. I'm obviously curious. Okay. All right. She starts <laughs> saying, "My oath is your oath. My oath is your oath." Unto this I give you protection, flee, my oath, your oath. And um, she keeps repeating strange kind of broken sentences like this as she's doing this. You, you're something a little bit different. You originally hear the chant, um, my oath, your oath, some strange things, just kind of come from the sky. And then you kind of hear a whisper in your ear. You look and you don't see anyone there. You just hear this kind of female voice say, embrace him, let him do it to you. You have to trust me. Your feet will move now. Don't run. You run, you die. Embrace him. And you'll notice <laughs> that you've now kind of regained control of yourself. It's still pulling you in, but and the thing doesn't seem to notice what's going on here. So she says, charge into him. Okay. All right, you're doing it? Okay. You charge directly into him, and you just feel, a, at first, cold surrounding you. And then pain. Lots and lots of pain. Um, and then, you see a strange image. And you're not sure if it's your hand or someone else's hand, but it clenches this kind of glowing white light out of the air and then opens it in front of your face and says, you're, sorry, you hear this voice, you're mine for now, and you're pretty positive it's your own voice. Your hand closes and you open your eyes to see Helen standing over you, breathing very, very heavily, and um, you're alive, and you're you, you're you. And now we have the witch to burn you. Uh, bye! <laughs> How's my shoulder? Is my shoulder? <laughs> oh, it's shoulder. It's like okay. <laughs> all, all of the pain okay. that was previously inflicted upon you all comes rushing back. <laughs> okay. I'm just, but I'm back. Okay, okay. Eric and all the good Helen, cry. <laughs> Helen uh, hastily stands up and just kind of uses her sword almost as like a walking stick and then just collapses down against a wall and sits there with the sword in between her legs and she just sits there with her eyes closed back up against the wall. So, Alias is awake now? His eyes have opened, yeah. I go and give him a big ol' hug. It'll be really yeah. awkward, obviously, but I'm gonna give him a hug. I'm so glad you're alive. Oh, as I'm hugging him, I'm gonna rub dirt in his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna go sit down beside Helen. Okay. So it's the same thing she's doing without my sword, but just like. <laughs> and Tobias will walk towards Helen, and in a very stern voice, demand to know what she just did. She slowly opens her eyes and said, "Something I wasn't supposed to, but well, I don't know. I don't know what any of you will think of it, but it's not truly as bad as you uh, probably assume. At least in my opinion." He's going to need to likely go to the tower, though. I think as soon as we're not dead, we'll have to really have a good talk. But... I'm assuming I'm probably already sleeping by now. <laughs> She'll open her eyes again and look at you and say, before the thought crosses any of your minds, I'm already as good as dead for doing that, so 
If you don't kill me, someone else will. And she knocks her head back and closes her eyes again. I'll kneel down beside her and thank her, obviously. Thank you, Helen. I don't know why I keep wanting to call you Helena. Maybe it's because I've been feeling really off. Thank you, you stupid Fine. bitch. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. What it is. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if you still are thankful for by the end. Can you explain what you did? Maybe later. My mind is fuzzy. It takes a lot of energy. I just I need to sleep now. Oh, I'm going to go just up to hour. you. And I'm just going to have my hand full of healing herbs. And like, can you do something with these? Um, DM, can all do things with mm. these herbs? I, I <laughs> Earlier I bought healing That's herbs. What you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I want them to heal me. But I'm just handing them a loose handful of herbs. Well, I don't have medicine. <laughs> but I, I'm a physician. Ooh, this is I don't good. have medicine <laughs> either. I really would be rubbing dirt in it, so. You've still technically got Scott's healer kit, so I mean, if you want to, you know, be like, oh, yes, the healers work worked. wonderfully, like, shove them in her wound and actually take them. I, I guess I could do that. Uh, you don't have to use them if you have something better, but I'm trying to offer you what I got. Yeah, I'll, I'll take your herbs and I'll go over and kind of sneakily take that healer's kit out. And pretend I'm like doing something with the herbs. <laughs> they are healing. Like, Here you go, my magnificent herb recipe. You'll feel great after this. Eight back. Great herbs. And I chew on the herbs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, do you guys wish to rest with Helen here, or are you gonna? <laughs> yeah. I'm already resting. So if they want to wake me up and take me somewhere, that's fine. But. <laughs> um. She said she needs an hour. Do you guys want to just do a short rest, or do you want to do try and attempt a walk in this place? Uh, I'm gonna stay awake while everyone's sleeping and watch her. We also have now. the two doorways. Yeah, so I'm basically taking watch, but I'm gonna watch her mostly. So you guys want to attempt doing a long rest then in this this area, or do you just want to do a short? Because if you just do a short rest, you don't need to sleep at all, as she is. But you guys don't need to. You can just stay awake and spend hit dice. You just don't regain any hit dice back towards what you can use on a short rest. I'm really hurt and could use a rest, but I can also understand if you guys don't actually want to stay here. Rest, I'll, uh, I'll, I guess, take a short rest and just watch while you guys sleep. Well, you can yeah, we can swap out out or something, too. Yeah, so, I'll, yeah, I'll take a short rest then and just watch. You guys, um, take now. a quick breather, um, but as Helen has a little bit of rest, um, she's gonna go around and she's gonna kick any of you guys who are trying to sleep longer than this period of time awake. Um, and she's essentially just going to stay. Say, look, guys, we can't stay here. I mean, that was out of necessity. But you're you're crazy if you think that we can rest here for any longer. You'll all die in this place if you think you can sleep for for longer. So if you guys wish to, that's fine. But I need to carry on. That's fine. I'll, I'll get up. I just, yeah. Okay. I had to close my eyes. The pain was getting to me. Um, I don't really want to explore anymore down here. I kind of want to just get the fuck out of here. But... That's fair. Right, there's, there's still other places that we haven't looked though, so it's... That's fair and certainly a prerogative. I need to continue on, as I said I had to previously. Um, the rest of you can do whatever you want, except you, and she points to you. She says, you have to come with me. So okay. You said you might have to take him to the tower? Uh, I won't be taking him to the tower. I would suggest you oh. go there at some point, but I certainly won't be taking him there. So what you're saying is you're, you're continuing through this place? I am. At um, least continuing down here. And as am I. Um, just as a clarification, she pointed to uh, Alias, sorry, and and commanded him to go, that he had to go with her. Said it exactly like I said it. Yeah. Did he just nod? He didn't just nod, but he you know slowly got up. He complained. I don't think. Not verbally, but I'm definitely going to look at you guys as I kind of, like, 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not sure what to do right now, so I'm just kind of rolling with it. <laughs> I think before we continue, you should tell us what she, is going on. You seem to know glance. more about this place than you're letting on. What should we be aware of down here? Is it not enough that I've already essentially given you my life? She looks to you, catches the kind of sideways glance, and looks to the rest of you and goes, this isn't going to go well otherwise. <sighs> All right. What do you want to know? Specifically, because I'm not giving generic answers. So you ask a question, and I'll answer it to the best I can. But nothing beyond that. Who the hell are we fighting down here? That's yet to be determined. But um, if you know anything about religion or um, anything of the like, she looks down on the cultists. That's a symbol of the goddess Fike here. I hope you're all educated enough to know Fike here is. Yeah, we've been over that. Okay, well, that's who these people are, I would assume. Some kind of worshiper. That's what I'm here to look at. Who are you, really? I'm you're not just a regular villager. You're clearly not a farmer. No. So I'm not. you're from the tower? Uh, yes, sort of. So are you one of the specters, or...? No, 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 I'm not at all. Why does Alias need to Is go to the... the tower? Oh, he doesn't need to. I would just suggest he does. I'm only keeping him with him with, him with me here right now, because he's a liability to my life. I'd like to have a little bit of time to... I don't know, think even even for an hour in a dangerous place about how the hell I'm going to get out of this uh, and or where I'm going to go because Tower is really an option for me now. Why is your liability to your life? Because I did something to him I wasn't supposed to. Yeah, you've said that, but what exactly was it that you did to him? I, I see you brought a, him back, but how? A very, very ancient ritual that very few are allowed to use. I am not among one of those that are allowed to use it. And who dictates that you're allowed or not allowed to use this? The tower. You said you weren't from there, though. Oh, I'm, f I'm from the tower, but just not exactly from the tower. Um, would we find friends at the tower, like, or would we find for like? Depends on what you're looking for. That's a very complex question. Not yeah. everything is unfortunately so black and white. I will even admit that. I would consider them my allies to an extent, but only as so far as my my oaths would would hold me. Um, I, I show her my sword that's been glowing for about a minute now, and I say, "What is yep. this? What's what's happening to me?" She kind of. Um, furrows her brow a little bit. She didn't even notice that previously in the, he the, the hectic situation that was going on. She says, who the hells are you? I, uh, I say everybody... Really? Because if you're asking who I am after what I did, I should ask what you're doing. I need to show you guys you are something. After what you're doing. I need to show everybody something. So, I pull out that rapier that I've been working on, and I cast that mending spell on it and show everybody that it's kind of coming back together slowly. It has- yeah, She does that, a small piece kind of reforms the blade. It, it started back when that, that magic caster exploded. And I just, I haven't been feeling myself lately and strange things have been happening. Hammers glowing, explosions. Hold on. I'm sure this is a revelation for all in your troops, so I apologize for interrupting, but what do you mean caster that exploded? There was mean someone with a gift? Yeah. Yeah, he well, I mean he was controlling like lightning and thunder and stuff, and he was just I don't know. He looked like a slave. Um, Antimaeus noticeably draws his blades. <laughs> as it heads up. <laughs> And this is why I didn't want to tell you guys, and I pointed at Antonius. <laughs> you mean the guy up on the hill that was in the chains? When yeah, he the, the fought that the group from that was hunting the specters. Yeah, the slave we were trying to save, but ended up trying to kill us. A man in a man in chains. Yeah. 
that was able to use the power. We were trying to remove the collar, and whoops, it's the knife slipped. Ended up killing him. She puts her her head in her hands and says, Why why do the gods have to curse me? They have to curse me. Well, imbeciles! Now I have no choice but to take you, at least, the very least, you back to the tower with me. By oath. Uh, what if I don't want to go? It's getting beyond your choice, the more you tell me. I thought we were going there. Well, the more she's telling us, the more I kind of don't want to go to this place. <laughs> Sounds like there's a lot of, uh, do this, do that. You have, <laughs> you have no choice kind of stuff going on. Oh, yes. That is exactly <clears throat> what it's based off of. What kind of oath is this? Why Why do you, you need to take him back? Do you know what a Kai Dame is? Uh, vaguely. Oh, yeah, we had that in that vision, right, guys? Yeah. It's someone with the gift. We're An ancient them. order of people, very few are born with the abilities. Those that are, are taken in by one of the towers and trained to be a Kai Dame. They do not go willingly most of the time. People go to retrieve them and take them. It's both for their benefit, because having magical abilities will kill you if you don't know how to use them. Hmm. Second, it's for everyone else's protection, because people that don't know how to use their abilities typically harm others with them. So that is the purpose of the specters, as you call them. They are Kaidame. They go out and hunt for these people and bring them back to the tower to be trained in the proper ways of using magic. I am what's called a Kaidan. I am a warrior trained for no reason other than to protect Kaidane. That is my whole purpose. It's what I do. I have been trained since I was a very, very young girl to do this. I am not a full Kaidan. I was at that village because there was rumors that worshippers of fight here, who we don't like very much, were growing in number in the area. I was here to investigate it as one of my final tasks as a trainee Kaidan. I have not yet been assigned my Kaidan. What I just did to your friend here was copy a ritual I have seen before with my Kaidan blood, which just made him a full Kaidan. He essentially outranks me now. So you can see why what I've done is a little bit of a problem for me. So he'll be developing these abilities as well? Oh no, 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 no. He won't be getting any magical abilities from this. Kaidan can't use magic. That was not magic what you just witnessed. That is a force imbued power that is broken upon us as we were children. And all Kaidan, while they have the theoretical ability to bring our Kaidan into the fold, there are four members that are allowed to do it. All of which have been Kaidan for 100, 200 plus years. So that can kind of put things into perspective for you, I hope as to what I have done to him. They're gonna wanna see him, and I don't know what they'll do to you, frankly, because you're not supposed to be the way you are, uh, but they'll certainly kill me, 100%. I will be executed. That is the law around breaking this out. So, anyways, there you go, my whole life story. How would they even know that you, you've used this ability unless someone told them? Just stay underground. It is very likely that he will die if he doesn't seek their help to remove the Kaidan's ranking from him. It is a power-hungry um, thing to be a part of. It doesn't, you can't use magic as a part of it. You are not gifted the power, but you need the power to survive. That is why you were bonded with a Kaidan. You feed off of them. That's how you live, and that is why you're supposed to protect them. They die, you die. It's as simple as it is. I'm not bonded. He's not bonded either, but he's supposed to be bonded right now with what I just did to him. 
However, it saved his life and stopped him from turning into one of those undead creatures. The large one is still around here somewhere. It sounds like you injured it quite significantly, but they purposefully kill so that they can make more of them. So I prevented that from happening because it probably meant certain death for all of you and clearly for him, um, but this is the consequences. So when I asked if you'd give your life for him, what I was really asking was, should I give my life for him? Because that's essentially what I've done. And not to offend you or anything, but I'm starting to regret it with all of these questions. <laughs> well, can you blame us? We got thrust into this. We were just supposed oh, to come in and help your husband, your supposed husband. And it turns yes. out you're a, I don't know, what is this? Blood magic or something? No. No, that's a whole other thing altogether. Never, ever, ever would we use dark magics. And again, I have no ability to use magic. That was a ritual he just needed to touch Kaidan blood, which theoretically I am not, but I have developed enough that I have not been made. At least that was the hope. I didn't know it was going to work. You're telling us people live 200 years? Like, my head is spinning right now. Oh, I know. Lots to take in. I, and I would suggest staying as far away from all of it as possible. It is not a good world. What are they so doing? I need to be bonded to a Kaidame in order to not be torn apart by this need for power. And he has the gift. No. Yeah. Is that how do how do people become bonded? They both need to be trained and arisen at the same time. Um, if you were to be bonded to him, his power would likely tear you apart far before your lust for power would kill you. Um, what ends up happening is every bit of ability that he may or may not have would be thrust from him into you for a moment. Likely because you were not able to handle the power, you would die a very painful death. Sounds like a pretty delicate balance. And if I wasn't trained and bonded and whatever how long before the need tears me apart kills me it depends whatever. luckily you were bonded by someone who's not very strong so the need is probably not great um i've seen people die the day the day after without being bonded correctly um i've seen people go a 10 day so hopefully those were all proper bonding so perhaps with mine i don't know a month What are they going to do to him if we bring him to the tower? I don't have an answer for that. I've never seen this happen before. All that's written is the penalty for me will be death. I will die. Um, I don't know what to do then. Hopefully take mercy on him and maybe somehow remove the Kaidam Oath. Or the Kaidan Oath, sorry. I've heard of it done before. I've never witnessed it, but there are books of it. So it might be able to be done. And if so, so you were going to be bonded with someone soon then? I would have been, yes. And that person is still alive, and that person is still probably back in the tower? I don't or... know who they are. If they will choose oh. for me. It will be a person who is currently in training, and they will take their final test. Part of the test is surviving a bonding. Because not everyone survived a bonding. Specifically because of that transfer of power. Um, it, it could put the, the Kaidame and the Kaidan at risk equally. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so that would have happened. And unfortunately... My task was first to investigate, second to protect. Clearly I failed in second, therefore I am going to go get my husband. Um, my husband truly, by the way, believes that he's about to be my husband. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that. Sometimes you need to, to have a good cover, you need to be believable. So I thought the heartbreak of him would, losing me eventually would be far more um, lucrative than finding out what, what I was. So what you're really doing here is not saving him, but you're trying to stop these monsters. Yes, yes. And I truly believe that by harming those people that they took, um, they will be succeeding. So because of that, yes, I am here to protect them as well. Well, what is it that you have to do? You just have to kill them, or is there some sort of... I don't. I don't have an answer for that. I didn't even know what we were going to find down here. All I know is that I was lucky enough to know, to have read and studied the entrance ritual to this place. Um, 
And all I know is that I recognize those symptoms. Past that, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing here. That was part of the purpose of me investigating. And I was hoping to investigate from a distance, but this is much closer than uh, than uh, I would be. Um, well, I can see how that must have been very difficult for you not to come with us when we told you you couldn't, because we thought you were just some little villager who couldn't fight to save our life anyway. I wasn't, I wasn't insisting for nothing. Yeah. But yeah, again, yeah, had you were had you just been a little farmer come with us, you probably would have put us in danger and made it worse off. But now I wish you would. Yeah. <laughs> so then, yeah. Johnson, he he really isn't that simple. He's actually quite a smart and powerful Kaidan. Then <laughs> you look over at Johnson, he's like. So so confused. He's, he's literally <laughs> just <laughs> silent no, for a change. One of the village folk that I befriended while I was there. There's no rules saying I can't. I can't make friends while I'm in training. I'm sorry, Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, Alias Talk is back. <laughs> no, um. Jojo, Chief, what happened to them? They're dead. Unfortunately. How? How? Yeah. Do you really need to know? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Um, I unfortunately probably led, led to their demise. And by probably, I mean, I, I didn't. It, I had no, no love for the action. I hope you can appreciate that. But to gain entrance to this place properly, um, that needed to be done. And it also probably saved your lives, because I can only imagine that you manually lifted one of the gates, thus calling some of the creatures upon you. <laughs> OK, well. When she says that, you start seeing that electricity. <laughs> My eyes are glowing white, and boom, yeah. again. <laughs> okay. So again, uh, everybody has to make a Constitution eleven. Let's see what I pull out this time. Nope. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Four? <laughs> I hope I don't kill you. <laughs> um, I hope I'm I get it. negative max hit points, so... <laughs> I actually got 15, so I'm... Okay, so 12 damage. Whoever made it is gets half that damage. Oh, wait, so I'm dead again? <laughs> Oh wait, that rest, that wasn't enough to get any hit points back, was it? You go unconscious, you're not dead. <laughs> um, she, as this happens, when they draws her sword, she stays standing, she's not pushed back. Um, I just kind of, after that, I slump to the ground, and I just say, well, a life for life, I suppose. Okay. Um, uh, you see Antimaeus approach you, weapons drawn. You don't trust me now, Dynatimaeus? I don't blame you. I don't even know what I am. Unfortunately, I need, I need initiative, guys. No, not you. You're unconscious, you're not bleeding, so you just don't take care of the at this point. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Having a nap. <laughs> All right. Uh, five? Uh, five. Okay. Uh, maple? Four. You're still conscious, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, and that was six hit points of damage, you said? No. Yeah, because you six, you saved, right? So, yeah, yeah it would be six, yeah. Wow, uh, okay. Are you still conscious? I am conscious, yes. And you, um, what do you get from initiative? Oh, right, initiative. <laughs> oh, natural 20s, 23. Uh, Almagar, you're up first. Um, obviously, you see Antimaeus.